Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective love reading, love messages from your specific person. What is it that they want to say to you? Well, we're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number 10. Power of number 5. And power of number 6. Okay, looks like we're going to the number 21. 21 in tarot is the world card, which can talk about... Endings to old karmic patterns and cycles. There's a new phase that's going to happen here in the romance department. You could be dealing with another fixed sign. An Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and or possibly Scorpio. Somebody wants a new chapter with you. Mm-hmm. Or they're capturing the vision of something going on here between the two of you or what they would like it to be. Or now this person is starting to wake up to the truth that you make them feel on top of the world, Scorpio. Hmm. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio born in the month of October. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. You could also be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. Others of you could be dealing with a Libra. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius born in the month of November. Picking up on Sagittarius and Capricorn energy born in the month of December. Of course, Capricorn, Aquarius, the month of January, could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Strong Capricorn energy coming in again through the number 15. Scorpio and Aries energy through the number 16 because that's the Tower card. Judgment. There's a lot of change and shift and transformation I'm seeing in the numbers. Something about justice, balance, fairness. Somebody is obsessing over you. There was a tower moment between you and this person. Now it feels like they want to build back up the foundation. Somebody got a wake up call. You could be 20, 21, 25, or 26 years of age. You could be 50, 51, 52, or 56 years old for my more mature audience. You could also be 60, 61, 62, or possibly even 65 years of age, or you could have been born in any of those years that I mentioned. So either way, go into the power of number 21. Let's see what the change and the shift is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 20 and 21. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Scorpio's specific person? Show me what's up. Ah, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Mm-hmm. This person is flat out black and white. They want your forgiveness. You may end up having them coming and begging you back. 
sobbing, crying. I mean, look at the angel. Look at the healing that's trying to happen here. Mm -hmm. Temperance. I'm seeing temperance coming in. It's like the angel. The angel is whispering. Okay, a couple variable messages. I'm sorry, it's so early in the morning, you guys, and I'm trying to get my words out. This angel is whispering in the divine masculine's ear to basically like wake up to the truth, okay? Wake up to the truth of your person, meaning Scorpio, meaning you, okay? And then it's like, I feel the tables are turning here, whereas a lot of you divine feminines could have been begging this person, your specific person, like, why are you leaving me? What, what is this crap? Like, oh, you got to go heal yourself. You got all of these problems and all of this. And it's like, yet yeah, you're, you're wanting to leave a really great relationship. Like a lot of you just didn't get it. Right. So there was a lot of sobbing, pleading, begging, and maybe your person was trying to soften the blow at one point in time. And no matter what your person said, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. They still were not choosing you. They were not choosing to continue the relationship at that time. The tables are turning, man. Tables are turning. A lot of you that were begging or pleading your person not to go, not to leave, that lowered your self-respect. And they knew it because they were they were in their ego. They were totally in their ego. There's actually, as you look deeper into the card, there's there's two angels. There's like a masculine and a feminine angel. So what I'm feeling here is, again, it's like the yin and the yang because we possess both energies. Show me mercy. It's like your person's going to be, huh, is that Miley Cyrus I'm thinking of? I'm begging you for mercy. Begging you for mercy. Please forgive me. I didn't know what I was thinking. I didn't know what I was doing. I wasted so much time with that karmic third party situation. But the real question is, Scorpio, how? How is this all going to come about? Well, everybody's storyline is going to be different, but it's going to start off with an initial. It's going to be a phone call. It's either going to be a text message or if they get really ballsy, they'll come and show up at your house. And they're going to be shaking in their boots. They're going to be shaking in their boots. They're not going to know what your reaction is going to be. So they're seeking this ultimate forgiveness. And you know what? Forgiveness is hard, you guys. And you know for a fact that in your highest interest, it wouldn't be feasible to take them back right away because they got to put in effort, right? We know this. We know this, but, you know, some of you have been dreaming about the day that this person is just going to give you that sense of justice and satisfaction of how wrong they were, whatever the F blindsided them to the truth of the connection and also that third party situation that they got involved with. Yeah, tables are turning. You forewarned them. A lot of you did.
This person can't stop thinking about you. Why should they, you know, because they know what they did was wrong. They know what they did. Whatever's been going on over there, it's not working out. It's just not. Why should your person just be so consumed of thoughts about you? In some scenarios, I left when I saw you with someone. Mm. I can relate to this. This happened to me a few years ago. Now that I think about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And somehow, some way, your person, if you were in a scenario such as that, it's like later on, if it was the next day or a few days later, your person found out that you saw them, that you saw them with that third party. Mm-hmm. Or you could have found out through the grapevine. Or if you did find out through the grapevine, that person, if it was a friend, a family member, whatever the case may be, told your person that you saw them with a third party. Mm -hmm. They're going to be begging you for mercy because they knew exactly what they were doing. Yet they love you unconditionally. You know, it does get tiring and exhausting when somebody is going back and forth in their antics Or they blatantly chose to just go off and get married. Or if they were dealing with it, that third party. You know, a lot of you guys have so many different scenarios that just really piss you off about this person and what they did. But it's all about the tables are going to turn here. Time frames are variable. I do feel like there's something significant about this month of May of 2024. May. I'm also picking up very strongly August. May and August. Huge turns, turnarounds. <laughs> yeah, it's going to happen. Ace of Swords. They're going to come forward. Come forward with their truth. Some of you guys are dealing with uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That This person's been watching you like a hawk, Scorpio. Or they've been finding out things through the grapevine, what's going on with you. Mm -hmm. Communication, magician. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Virgo, or Aries. See, a spirit's also trying to remind you, too, that you, Scorpio, have all of the tools, power, and resources in order to manifest this person back into your life. How do we do that, you guys? It is all through the power of changing your thoughts. Black and white. That's what it is. That's the magic. Because in the physical reality, you can't shake it out of this person you can't tell them again how much you think that the two of you are supposed to be together. You can't force anything in the 3D, but you sure as hell can change and shift thoughts, shifting your reality. Now, it's funny because I'm hearing the song from Dua Lipa, Levitating, because the elements, the wand, the coin, the sword, and the cup, they're all levitating. What are the lyrics to the song? You can fly away with me tonight. I can't sing that high. 
You can fly away with me tonight. Let me take you for a ride. Let's get lost on Mars. Something like that. I'm thinking about the lyrics. Yeah. They're going to be reaching out. For a lot of you, it's going to be during Gemini season. At one point in time, they, yes, of course, they pulled the wool over your eyes. There's no doubt about this. But they're watching you like a hawk. They could also be seeing you, Scorpio, how you are effectively changing your life, or they're hearing it through the grapevine. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's what we want. Judgment. I just got goosebumps up my right thigh. Oh, they're coming and begging you for a second chance. If it's a third chance, fourth chance, it doesn't matter. This person is getting their freaking karma. They're getting their karma. Ain't no turning back. Look at how powerful that is. Ace of Swords, the Magician. You've got some kind of celestial help on the other side, Scorpio. It's like your patience is going to be rewarded here. <laughs> yeah, this person's afraid of having to do, if they have to do the walk of shame, you could also be dealing... First off, you could be dealing with another Scorpio, but with the Page of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. A lot of you guys are going to reject this person. <laughs> Got another offer. You might be dealing with two people. Two choices, two options. Maybe they both did you wrong. Dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think this person's very worried when they come forward that <laughs> you're definitely going to reject them. Yeah, they're worried because of the fact like the three of coins shows only one person in the after tarot. They're not sure. They're really not sure if this in fact is going to work out again. Only for the mere fact it's like... They don't know what to say to you. That's the truth. They don't know what to say. They're tongue twisted, you know, because right now they're feeling rejected or left out in the cold right now. But they are afraid you're going to reject them too. The way that they did you, they're worried that you're going to do the same to them. It's time for them to pay their karmic dues. Trusted ancestors, why is this person so adamant about Scorpio's forgiveness? I'm hearing Aretha Franklin's right, uh, song, uh, Rescue Me. They're almost wanting you to rescue them out of that situation, but don't you dare. Don't you dare pick up the phone. They need to know how to get out of this ish. They need to know how to get out of it with a third party. They want to heal and mend the situation. Three of Swords, flat out black and white. Something did not work out for them, and it's it's still not working out for them. Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. This karmic was not who they said they were, or they just were not cracked up to be. It's like they're waiting for you to save their soul, Scorpio. But they're the only ones that can do this. They just need to do it already and get it done and over with so we can get back to business. That's how I'm seeing it because it's just so much wasted time on their part. Not your manifestation work. If you've been manifesting for this person, but you haven't seen results yet, 
check your faith and belief right now. Because again, when you start to be doubtful, okay, that stops the motion. That stops the action. That stops from anything coming forward. If you don't believe as a child believes and has, you know, absolute ultimate faith that this person is going to come back and recognize and realize your value and your worth, you have got to speak it out into existence or do shamanic tapping. This person does want to come forward. They want your forgiveness. They want to heal the situation with you. But they are shaking in their boots right now. Show me again while they're shaking in their boots. Show me through judgment. Temperance. They're trying to keep calm. Because they want this reconciliation. That's what it is. They want the reconciliation. Nothing more, nothing less. It's like very black and white temperance. Some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius. Why do they want your forgiveness? Because they had a missed opportunity. But that was on them. That was on them. They're going to try to figure out little itty bitty ways to get you to warm up to them, to butter you up, buttercup. That's what they're trying to do. Page of coins. Yeah, they're thinking. Some of you guys are dealing with Virgo or Libras born in the month of September. Thinking, thinking, thinking. They're thinking of ways. They're juggling ways on how to, you know, figure out. What is going to be the best choice, the best option to obtain your attention? It's frustrating because maybe some of you guys have been noticing this with your person. You know, if they've been randomly reaching out every now and then. Mm -hmm. You got this person thinking right now, but the tables are turning because they, they're going to be begging you for forgiveness. So, yeah. Oh, and it's going to be a grand and glorious day. Mm-hmm. We're going to leave the energy like it is for the moment. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.